Well, it's early day 10 right now. I left the lake early this morning before the sun even came up, trying to look for a creek or a river or something that had flowing water because I can't boil water because I lost my flint. So that's what I was doing right now and I came across this, I don't even know what you want to call it. This is a big rock. Most of the woods was just like this. Terrible to walk through, but found this right here. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a little flat rock, probably one like this. I'm going to try to find some sticks and make a fire the old fashioned way. I don't really have a choice. If I want to drink or eat anything without feeling sick, then I'm really going to need a fire. So I guess that's the plan for right now. So right now, I want to find a dry piece of wood because I think if I cut down a tree that's alive, then it's going to have too much moisture. And these, some of these pieces of wood that are lying on the ground like this have been sitting around for a while, and they're nice and dry. So I think if I can find two real dry pieces of wood and generate enough friction, then I can get a little spark going at least. But uh, I also have enough parachute cord to make a little fire bow, which will help me get some more leverage on it. I've seen it done before, but that was on TV, and I guess it's a lot harder in person. So, see how it goes. So, here are my supplies. I think I got everything I need. I broke this off. This is going to be my main spindle. Hopefully, I can get this spinning on the base which is a dry piece of bark fast enough where this would generate some kind of spark and uh, I'm gonna make a bow out of this this is a tree I cut down because I got enough cord left and that's gonna help me spin it hopefully and uh, this is just a top so it doesn't wear out my hand whenever I'm spinning it so I'm really hoping this works go ahead and make my bow first Cut two notches where the rope can attach onto. Should be good, good enough to keep the rope from sliding at least. Alright, let's see how this works. So there's my bow. <sighs> Looks like a little bow and arrow. So hopefully that'll work. Now for this, the main spindle. I need to get this nub off. It's actually nice and light and real dry. So, And I want to make both of the uh, tips, not a point, but somewhere where it's going to fit in the groove. So... That's too sharp right there. Make it nice and rounded. So there's that. It's actually really light, really dry, and pretty strong, so should work. Now for the base. The only thing I need to watch out for is I want a little groove so this thing will fit in and not slide around. So I think I want to cut. Alright, so that should be good. Plus, whenever I start spinning it, it'll probably make its own groove naturally, so it's good for now. Now this part where I hold on with my hand, same thing.
All right, that's it. Let's see how it works.